So it's been a little while since I've made a sit down at the desk video and I actually don't mind that. I really enjoy like kind of going back to my old ways and making like vlog style or like IRL type videos and not just at the desk because you know this is half of my job not my full job uh, being behind the desk editing so I thought I'd start taking out like more content outside doing stuff like that and it's just been a lot of fun doing that type of content. I do want to do a lot more BTS of like shoots that I do but it's really hard to do when I don't really know if like the clients are okay with me filming like while I'm at the shoot of course I could ask but that's kind of like weird because you're there to do a job and I know a lot of people do BTS videos while they're at a job I just don't feel comfortable asking so I might start having to because I want to make content of it but I don't know but that's besides the point it's been a while I'm actually recovering from being sick I probably sound a little congested but ignore that but today we're back with another like editing tutorial type video I'm actually gonna be shooting two today I, I've just been on a content grind I had a video ago viral it had like 14,000 views on tiktok which is a lot for some people for me i've been there done that but it feels good to have it on my drawn media account rather than my personal account so i am trying to achieve bigger numbers on this platform or uh, not platform but this account and kind of grow from there because nobody in this you know industry of people that are following me for drawn media don't know my old eric drawn content for the most part people that are following this is like a new fan base quote unquote and I just want to, you know, reach a new audience that's a lot less toxic and a lot more fun, you know, because they relate to me. I mean, of course, my other audience related to me on my personal side, and that's cool, but I kind of like my creativity side a lot more. So enough of that. I'm actually going to be showing you how to add subtitles to your videos, which is actually pretty simple. I do got to say that it's not the most foolproof, like, plan of doing subtitles. Of course, you could always manually input them yourself, which is perfectly fine. You can customize them however you want. DaVinci has a new tool that like transcribes the audio for you and you can adjust the text itself very minusculely you can adjust it not too too much like you could if it was just you know done by yourself manually it works it gets the job done you just gotta do little tweaks here and there and you should be fine but yeah let's go ahead and get into getting those subtitles done and tweaked <laughs> so there's been a few ways I've seen people teach this some say you need to highlight the audio and then you know do it that way I found out that if you're doing a whole timeline you don't want the whole thing subtitled then you would select the audio you want but for me the whole timeline is fine and so I'm just gonna go over to the timeline tab and then I literally just click create subtitles from audio you can adjust the maximum characters per line I find that 18 is about just fine for me I do a single line so people like double lines it's up to you you could also you know change the different type of uh, caption preset like teletext or Netflix and then the auto language obviously it's English so it's gonna pick that up because it's English the gap between subtitles I prefer is zero frames so whenever you know it's cutting from uh, caption to caption there's not a gap in between them it's just fluid and I'll expand them out a little bit per you know subtitle just to have that fluid constant subtitles moving but anyways it's up to you to decide if you want to do that or not up to you <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just click create and then it'll just initializing words big words hard for me but uh, it'll do that sometimes it takes a few seconds sometimes it takes a little bit longer this is not even a 45 second reel probably about 45 seconds and it's probably taking about 10 seconds to do 15 seconds and there you go it's done now as you can see all the subtitles are there that was real time I didn't cut it at all so yeah that's the subtitles you'll see some gaps like right here in between so I'll either just listen to the audio and see how it sounds or I'll just drag it out and expand it out a little bit more this way whenever they transition it'll just be a fluid transition obviously these subtitles look ugly and I don't like them you could individually edit each subtitle if you wanted to by just clicking customizing caption and then changing it if I want to make this one red you know change this to whatever font that is and have it have whatever colors in the background it's kind of hard to tell on this monitor yeah so you could do that and then when you go to the next one it's not going to have it i don't prefer doing that i prefer to have them all uniform so what you can do is go over to track and then you can change it i do babis new uh, font with regular usually sometimes bold whatever they kind of look similar just very minuscule difference so after your captions are done if you just want to customize one of them you can just select the one you want to you can you can edit them all individually if you would like you can do word for word it's up to you you can do customized caption and then I believe if you just you know don't have to select that but if you just change the color it's gonna only change the color for that one you know subtitle if I go to the next one it's gonna be regular so I don't prefer doing that you can adjust again the text type the font all this other good stuff and like I said I don't prefer it so I go over to track when I go over to track I prefer baby new 
as my font type so I do that I usually do regular or bold pretty similar minuscule difference I tend to go with like this darker yellow like cinematic type text it's just my favorite color to go with for text uh, on subtitles and I usually turn the stroke off because I don't like the stroke behind it and I'll either do like a black background with like a low opacity about 50% or I've been recently I'm gonna be trying to use a drop shadow instead and so I'll just turn the background off and then when I get the drop shadow you can do an offset which will like offset text it's kind of hard to see on here for me but I'll do that and then I kind of like the red yellow color so when you do red yellow there you go red's a lot easier see and I can just adjust it how I like and then it just makes it pop a little bit more without having an awkward shape box because the background box for the subtitles is not the best it's a little bit like larger right here than it is on top I don't know if you can fix that I mean you can try to adjust these but it's just it's just not appealing to me as it used to be so I've just been going with drop shadow but as you can tell all the subtitles now have drop shadows well they don't because I turned it off but if I turn it back on they will all have drop shadows they'll all be changed and that's pretty much it you could also you know adjust the transformation so if you want to make it bigger you want to make it smaller if you want to move it up and down it won't just do it for that one it'll do it for every single one of them so they stay uniform again if you want to like change the height of the font uh, for different ones you would just have to go into the caption customize that caption and then just adjust the you know the, where you want it right there then if you go to the next one it's back to where it was before so that's pretty much it for like actually editing the subtitles now if you try to export it as is right now the subtitles aren't gonna be there I don't know why they do this why make a subtitles tab where you can customize it but when you export it it's just not gonna be there so I will show you how to fix that you go over to the little you know rocket ship my favorite deliver page so once you're on the deliver page you have all your you know export settings as normal you can change them if you want set your presets if you have any I don't really use them uh, that often sometimes I do have presets but that's besides the point but after you get all that done you can just scroll down to the bottom and you go to subtitle settings once you go there you'll see this will normally be unchecked so once you check it it'll say export subtitle checked and then instead of doing as a separate file which I believe you can upload to YouTube or whatever to have subtitles embedded into your video you can just click the drop down and then burn into video this will literally burn your subtitles into the video so it'll look as you edited and that's pretty much it like I said the customization is a little limited from what I understand maybe I'm completely wrong I could be completely wrong because you know I'm still I'm learning man everybody's learning but from what I've been doing and what I've been learning and watching that's how I've seen a lot of people do it so I've done it I mean if you don't like it you can manually do word for word it's a lot harder takes a lot more time this is just a lot quicker but again just keep in mind that if you're like trying to make sure it's precise I would recommend listening to the video like two or three times to make sure you hit like the word for word sometimes it'll start a word before it shows it as a subtitle or the subtitle will show before the word starts so you know just adjust the timing you just have to literally just slide it back and forth a little bit cut it if you want to and it also helps show you like if there's excess like dead space because it won't do the full subtitle sometimes so that can help you out as well so yeah that's pretty much it just remember subtitles do keep your viewers more engaged into your content so if you're worried about engagement subtitles are just more appealing to watch for some reason maybe it's just me maybe I just have something wrong with me or if I see a video with subtitles and I'm hearing it I'm just more engaged like I even watch Netflix with subtitles don't ask why I just do it maybe I'm, I don't think I'm the only one I can't be the only one that watches Netflix with subtitles while I can hear the audio there's no way remember again engagement is key so make sure you do that also I don't know if you notice I've kind of got rid of the background music in my videos because I had an artless subscription which was like $300 a year that I you know had on my own and I did pay for it obviously it was expensive and they started doing a clear list but and I have way more clients than I needed audio for and I just can't have a clear list for more than three accounts on artless anymore so it's not gonna be my go-to you know audio system or uh, music app platform whatever but I'm gonna figure something out uh, so for now I'm sorry if there's no music in the background if again music is what keeps some viewers engaged so we'll see how that works out but yeah anyways I hope you enjoyed the video I will be making more videos and I'm actually gonna be making a breakdown of like time code and showing you how I'm using my time code app to record the audio for you know lav mic shotgun mic all that at the same time if i wanted to have two camera angles sorry i don't actually have a second camera set up but if i did i could have one right here and have them all synced together so when i drop it in the uh, software davinci actually you can pin all the audio to the video tracks and literally drag it into the software or to the timeline and it'll be synced already and it's so easy i'll also be making a video on that but once i record that video i will be making a video about how i did that while i do that 
You know what I mean? I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos and I kept this one kind of short and sweet. Hopefully, maybe not. It says 12 minutes of recording, but I know I definitely had a lot of mess ups. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Where's my lens cap? Goodbye. Oh, I also have a mist filter, so I don't know if that made any difference at all. Kind of looks like it's a little bit more diffuse, but if not, then well, yeah. Bye. yeah.